The Learning Curve. Highlighting the people and programs of Marysville High School. Hello and welcome to M6, your hometown station. I am your host, Courtney Bell, and here today is Marysville High School Choir Director, Mr. Michael Martin. So far, the choir has had several concerts leading up to their biggest concert yet. Soon approaching in the choir season is the pre-festival concert and the festival. We asked Mr. Martin what songs the choirs will be performing during the festival. The choirs are performing um, various songs during festival because we have two choirs this year. I have to choose different pieces uh, for each choir. And the Michigan School Vocal Music Association has a, has a required set of songs that I'm allowed to choose from, it's a required list. And so, um, so I look through our choir library and, and choose songs based on our, the level of our abilities and our skills. Uh, so Women's Choir is going to sing a song in Italian called Danza Danza, which is a lot of fun, it's a, it's a dance song. And then uh, they're also singing a, a nice smooth one called Looking Glass River, based on the poem poetry of Robert Louis Stevenson. So I really like that one. And the Concert Choir is going to sing uh, one based on the Book of Solomon called Rise Up, I Love My Fair One. And then a nice, um, a nice full, rich, um, gospel-style version of City Called Heaven with Alex Gray uh, leading us in the solo part of that. We also asked Mr. Martin if he feels that both choirs are ready to perform in this year's festival. Yes, yes. I had a great opportunity to go to a really neat music conference uh, in January where I get to learn how to be a better teacher and instructor and learn some better um, rehearsal techniques for the choirs and uh, it seems like second semester the dedication level always steps up a bit. Um, yes, I think the choir is going to be very prepared. Um, we have skill levels from beginning singer to a four-year advanced singer. So balancing those is, a, is kind of a delicate balance and it's tricky but, but I think with all of the, the skills combined and the attitudes combined and, and enthusiasm, yeah, it's going to be a fun festival. Mr. Martin then shared how he is preparing his choir students for festival. Um, many ways. Uh, it starts with warm up. A nice, good, solid vocal warm up is something I prepare. I've learned, like I said, I learned some, some really neat things to do from the music conference, and so we're trying some better ways to improve our, our tone quality, make us sound really good. Uh, another thing that happens at festivals is that we kind of get tested on our sight reading abilities, which is the ability to pick up a piece of music fresh and, and just sing it. And so we're working on our music reading skills so we can become musically literate. And then above and beyond that, we, we work on our literature and really focus on all aspects of the literature, the dynamics, the, the phrasing, um, the meanings of the text, uh, the expression, and all the qualities that, that make a performance um, at the level we need to for festival. We would like to wish both choirs and Mr. Martin good luck on this year's festival on March 9th, 2015. I'm Courtney Bell, and thank you for watching M6, your hometown station. The Learning Curve. Highlighting the people and programs of Marysville High School.